Batman Arkham Knight. It isn't due out until 2015, but it's the fourth game over recent years of a Batman franchise, but it's the third game from Rocksteady. So this is the one that probably it's gonna end the trilogy and the one that people are really waiting for. It's only gonna be available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC, so it's a next generation game. Third person style game, uh, very similar in ways of how the previous two games have played. So it's up to you as Batman to go around Gotham City and save the day from all of these criminals that are out there. It looks fantastic, expansive beyond anything else you've seen in one of these games before. It's truly gonna hopefully end this story and this journey for Batman. I'm sure there's more announcements to come over the coming months before its release uh, in early 2015. If you've loved the previous Batman games, this will have everything plus more. So I highly recommend getting hold of it when it does come out. The next game is Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Super Heroes. You get three toys in the starter pack, which you can then place on this cool base that as soon as you place it on there, they turn up on your screen in the actual game. The likes of Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Black Widow, and they come up on screen and you get them to play through different adventures in different areas of the Marvel Universe. People can go on, build their own levels, play sets, and then upload them online, so to let everyone around the world play them limitless really to a point of how much gameplay you can get out of this with it being marvel set with avengers with i would expect plenty of new characters to come post launch huge success written all over it so the next game is lego batman 3. Uh, it's the third of the batman games but there's been plenty of other lego games within these franchises and this time lego batman is going into space so brainiac has stolen the lantern ring and he's basically shrinking universes across the galaxy so it's up to you as batman and all of the other dc characters to go after him and basically save the universe it's great that it's not set within the Gotham City. You're gonna get exactly the same experience you would get from a Lego game. So it's all about smashing things up, collecting as many coins as you can, the replayability with all of the different characters. So there's around 150 characters you'll be able to unlock in this game. Your suit looks really good is all I'm saying. One hero to another, it's really working for you. Sorry, right, brooding, carry on. They're hugely addictive. These games are really for any age group. Um, doesn't matter whether you're a child, a teenager, an adult, you'll always love this. There's a great co-op capability as well, so you can split screen and play together with friends. The Lego franchise goes from strength to strength and Batman 3 Beyond Gotham will be a huge success for them later on this year. The last game is Star Wars Battlefront. You start as either on the Rebel side or the Empire, and they'll be set in key areas from the whole Star Wars world, as it were. So you could be on Hoth in the real ice cold world of being on speeder bikes or land speeders, ATSTs if you're on the Empire side. And it's all about taking over the map. Again, this has got so much potential because it's been quite a long time since the last one came out and they've gone back to the Lucas Ranch and they've gone to see all of the original models that were made for the original films. Plus they will probably release this in line with the new film so next year or 2015 could be a huge year for Star Wars. It looks from what we've seen which is only a very small amount truly amazing. Again don't know exactly when it's coming but I'm sure we'll see more and more of this over time and yeah I, I'm very much excited for this.